Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 3. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier. Yo, how's everybody doing? So now we are in the Twilight Zone as Link awakens as a wolf in the land of Twilight. <laughs> yeah, so this is cool. It's not like a Legend of Zelda game no more. I'm a doggy. Right? Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. You might wind up in the body bag. <laughs> so you play as Kevin Ash here. And, who and the, the weird creepy girl. Yeah. With a wooden leg? Oh. And I first played this game, man, I just... This part right here, I, I mean, I knew Link would turn to a wolf because they showed it in the trailers or whatever, but this part right here in the land of Twilight and talking to this annoying character, um, yeah, like just the way she treats Link, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> yeah, it, it is, but it's pretty cool though because like in this eerie Twilight music we're here in just a second, yeah, I mean, it's a very cool experience first time playing this. Yeah, it's something very different. It's something that you don't set, you know, it's bad from Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the girl definitely gives you the creeps. Yeah. Well, everything here pretty much gives you the creeps. Oh, yeah, the enemies in the Twilight, yeah. They couldn't play the Twilight Zone music, dun 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 dun, because they get sued. <laughs> so they had to make this one. Uh, right here in the Twilight Zone, or, yeah, I call it the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Link, you can get her off. Yeah. Well, he needs her help, so... Yeah, I guess she's. I guess she's pretty much the star of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since Ocarina of Time, Link has to have someone in his ear all the time. <laughs> all right. So now we gotta get out of this area and this cool but strange and weird Twilight music. Because that would be pretty trippy in real life. You just in this twilight area and oh yeah, it'd be freaking creepy. You see these spirits. <laughs> yeah, you use your senses right here. Yeah, what the? Yeah, so you play as Haley Joel Osmond here. <laughs> I see outdated graphics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it still looks kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, it still looks great. As uh, Tibbs316, who was in part one of this LP, he said, this is like Ocarina of Time on steroids. Definitely. <laughs> Sounds like someone trying to talk to you on Skype with their calls cutting out. <laughs> Yeah, it's too bad they can't get like the digital voices right in the Zelda. But yeah. I don't know. I guess that would take way too much time. Well, I think they yeah you know, they could, but I think with her they wanted Midna to still kind of be mysterious and I guess uh, plus like there's not much voice acting in Zelda anyway. Um, and yeah. So it kind of fits the theme. It kind of fits the usual Zelda feel, and I guess they kind of wanted to. Uh, I guess make those no her have make make those noises that she's talking to get an idea of what she sounds like. <laughs> yeah, they should just hire like a annoying actress or something like a Miley Cyrus and have that <laughs> do the voice. Yeah, or Nancy Cartwright. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. For years, I didn't know <laughs> Bart Simpson was voiced by a woman. <laughs> 
Yeah, I didn't know either, but it was a cool fact. Yeah. Well, that's not a star soldier, but that is a soldier in fear for his life. <laughs> his soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're a bunch of wimps. Soldiers are never good in, like, uh, Zelda games. Yeah. Oh, man. Jeez. Yeah. There's always a guy in the green leotard, you know, showing them up. Right. <laughs> yeah. Deucebag soldiers in Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past. They couldn't say yeah. Hyrule. Yeah. Only the ki kid in the green tunic who's supposedly lazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now a dog is... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, showing them up now. Yeah. Or wolf, whatever. Yeah, wolf. Oh, man, what is black things? What the heck, man? Yeah, they're all over the place. Yeah. All right, freaking uh, <laughs> little predator enemies. Oh, no, they look like uh, remnants of venom. Yeah, if you're stuck make an enemy in a video game, just make a black, you'll blow up surfing. Yeah. Boom, it's an enemy. Yeah, well, actually, I meant Venom from Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant, too. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that stupid black alien goo. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of also look a bit like uh, aliens from Alien. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the spikes. Ah, those things again. <laughs> ah! It missed because the cutscene. Oh, wait, getting. Oh. Oh, well, got it. Alright. Oh, more glowing skulls. I wonder where we're at. Whoa. <laughs> wow, Stop being so thick and only uh, <laughs> a yeah. four foot tall wolf is, you know, stalking you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they can't so see him. Oh, okay. Yeah. They can probably hear what's going on, but. Yeah, they can't really see him because they're in the Twilight world. And yeah, parallel world. Yeah. Yeah, now they're as spirits. Well, that's a long walk. <laughs> well, he has four legs, so it's going to be a lot easier now. Yeah, I feel like playing Castlevania here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Failing. What? You're the one on top. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a joke there, but I better not say that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does look like a Castlevania 64 here. Yeah, with, with better camera angles. Yeah, I don't know if it could get much worse, though. <laughs> well, Mario 64 is almost there. Well, in Mario 64, you had much better camera control. In Castlevania 64, it was just kind of a mess. Yeah, I, don't and know. I still like the game, too. Yeah, me too. I don't know, could you control the camera in Castlevania 64? Yeah, you had three different camera angles, but they were all very awkward to use. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what the... Yeah, this is Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, and the jump in this game is a bit more automatic as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I liked about the 3D Zelda games is that you didn't have to rely so much on like controlling the camera and worry about jumping and all that. Yeah. No, you just have to worry about the puzzles, which are hard enough as it is. Yeah. Wait a minute. Man, what a beautiful day. <laughs> I 
think and have an idea where we're at. And Dracula's castle. No. <laughs> yeah, just tell us. Yeah. <laughs> he had a tower. Yeah. Oh, the Tower of Hera from A Link to the Past. Oh, wait. No, another spirit? Man. I forgot how much talking there was in this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, well, it's kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this black squares flying around everywhere. Debris, debris. <laughs> Maybe. Well, what the? Ridley, you're in the wrong game. Get out of here. Yeah, maybe it's just like an ash or something. Like there's yeah. so much burning going on. Yeah. It's kind of like that South Park episode where everything was just ash. Yeah. After that giant oh, sparkler or something. <laughs> that turned into a giant black snake. Those giant vultures or whatever we killed. It reminds me of Castlevania Bloodlines where if you hit one of the those birds at the right spot in the face, you uh, knock their head off and they still fly around with blood squirting out their neck. Can't do that in a Zelda game though, it wouldn't be... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they could show too much blood. Even though this game I, is rated T for teen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was. Basically. Oddly enough, yeah, the Ocarina of Time did have some blood in it originally, too. Yeah, but I think the European version, the blood was green. Yeah. I think this Yeah, I remember actually playing the Ocarina of Time, and when you, once you fight Ganon Dwarf, and you, you know, defeat him, blood actually comes out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. And also, when you stab him in the head at the end, as Giant Ganon. And yeah. Yeah, so this game right here was the first to be rated T, like, not so kitty in a way. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, the girl on top of you is pretty much half naked. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of weird that she looks so small. Yeah. Who is this? <laughs> That they got from Star Wars? Oh, wait. <laughs> Midna? For the longest time, I thought it was Medina. I was so dyslexic. Oh, wait, it's Midna. So, this is who we're looking for here, and who could this be? <laughs> <laughs> Can you at least give him some kibbles or something? Yeah. He's probably hungry. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give us your exposition. What's going on here? Okay. It probably leads to some. Okay. You had to go to this castle. Get the special item in there and then go to several other castles, get their special items and come back. Yeah. Or I will be captured. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
What the heck is that? Black smoke? It's Sonic! Hey, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's the, uh... It's the Predators. Yeah, they all need haircuts. Yeah. What the heck is that? <laughs> Halloween's over, man. Yeah. yeah. Trim your fingernails. It's a fucking mess, though. Yeah. Is that tongue sticking out, or is that beard, or what? Yeah, it looks like a fish head with a tongue sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> that was not time to be playing a flute. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was just a statue, I guess. Yeah. Twilight covered high wheel in this trail. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I guess that is a fire or something. Yeah. Oh my god! It's. <laughs> it's Zelda. Who else could it be? Yeah. <laughs> so why is she not transformed in the Twilight? It probably has something to do with some. Um, okay, I can still stay the same because maybe I got the Triforce of Wisdom or something like that. Yeah, maybe. But Link has a Triforce of Courage, I think, embedded in him. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> or maybe she did transform. Because she's wearing black now. Maybe she's hiding something. Yeah. She's really a man now. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. It's Zordo. I guess, yeah. I guess we have to play more of the game to find out. Uh oh. So we get down here and oh. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the guard. If it's our guards, you know, he's going to be easy to defeat. Yeah, but for some reason we're running from him, so. Yeah, as long as it's not those long haired dudes. Yeah. Now it's raining in the twilight. Gandorf as a creative wrestler in one of the old SmackDown vs. Raw games. <laughs> I just wish you could have made him come down on the horse, but you couldn't. Yeah, that would have been cool to see. It would be hard to create these characters. Yeah.
<laughs> there are some weird rules in this game. Yeah. All right. So we got to stay a doggy for a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll find out what happens in part four. Be very interesting. Thank you, Star Soldier, for joining us. And God bless. Take care. Uh, no problem.